Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. Today I'm bringing you in for another fun unboxing. And we're gonna go straight to the top down shiny cam. Hey, shiny cam. Third rates, yep, they finally came. Uh, it took about a week. Uh, this was Amazon. It just depends. Some of the stuff I'm getting within two, three days. Some of the stuff's taking a week. Uh, just ordered mm, Ultramarines. Little tip for you there. Little little reveal. Ultra Ultramarines Codex. Uh, about a week and a half ago, and it still isn't here yet. All right, there we are. Their rates. Let's pop them open. I got a question from Big Dog. Big Dog, this is for you. He asked, are they plastic or are they resin? Now these are the third rates, of course. Uh, those first rates, they're big dogs. They move only three inches of movement. And they have the, uh, I guess you call it like a yellow chevron, so they can't, they don't have a wide turning arc. Now let's see what we got here. <clears throat> for inquiring minds that want to know. More thread, imagine that. Well, I got piles of thread now. They are plastic. All right, plastic. I thought they were plastic. They didn't feel heavy enough to be resin. <clears throat> so here's our ship cards. We're gonna look at those because I want to see what the stats are, of course. That's very important. Um, brig, frigate. All right, let's see this here. So I guess they're going to give you a frigate assembly guide for a third rate ship. I can tell you right off the bat, <clears throat> the difference in the third rate is you're getting this larger hull area. You're having an entire extra row of cannons and then a little uh, block of cannonades on the th on the top deck. Uh, so there. So we got three of those. I'm going to, right now I'm not really delving into Spanish. I'm not delving into Americans yet. That's a whole thing in itself. Um, I think at least I will get Spanish and at some point in the future I'll get some American ships painted. Um, so yeah, I'm mostly looking at Caribbean stuff. So I might do some Spanish. I just love the Caribbean. I love to take cruises there. <laughs> And uh, so <clears throat> I just love the Caribbean. So and there was a lot of history down there with ship battles and stuff, guys. Um, between the English, the French, and I've got pirates. So we're, I love my pirates. So one of these is going to be pirates. One of these is going to be British. And one of them is going to be French. All right. So let's look at the stats on the cards. Eh. Packaged by Voss. Uh, let's... Uh, this open here if I can. Ship cards. So we've got our flags, the typical flags. Sales. All right. So here's what we got. This is what we're going in for. Um, let's let's bring you in on the closer closer cam. <clears throat> so we got 74. Okay, so they're all going to be the same. So they're going to be generic. We got the red chevron for our turning radius, or arc, I should say. Large third rate ship of the line. And one of mine is going to be a captured, probably a captured British ship that is now part of the pirate fleet. All right, I haven't come up with the captain or the leader of the pirate fleet yet. I haven't thought of that one. So we're looking at 74 hit points. We got a four inches, so they don't, they're not as fast as a frigate. Frigate's gonna be five. Brig can be three to five. I think it's mostly five, the brigs. And I notice on the merchant ships, the merchant ships, if you're using a frigate as a merchant ship, uh, it doesn't move as fast. I think it is a, I think it is also a three. <clears throat> All right, so that's what we got on our ship stats. Three large, two medium, two cannonade. All right? So that's it. That's what we've got. So those are going to paint up really nice, I think. I'll go back on the cam here. 
Um, nice details. I pr personally prefer the plastic masts. I've been assembling the first straights over here with the metal. Uh, not terrible, but they're not straight. They're hard to straighten out. Uh, some of the molds are miscast a little bit. <clears throat> I'd say out of a score of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest uh, quality, I'd probably give the metal mask probably a 7. So yeah, it looks pretty straightforward to put together. Uh, one sprue per ship. You've got, just like the starter box, you've got your choice of aft cabin decorations, I guess you would call it. And uh, your typical rigs. Uh, we got our boats here separately. Or the uh, skiffs are separate. Oh, we got your davits. Look at these come with davits, unlike the, <coughs> the starter box. So it looks pretty straightforward. Um, it just takes time. I spoke with a friend earlier today. Um, he was asking about how the ships were coming along since we're doing a battle this Saturday. Um, I would say, all told, you're talking about five hours a ship. By the time you, you base coat them, you do your your uh, your base your base colors, <clears throat> and then rigging the ship. And my tip, and it, this is not what I thought of. This comes from a subscriber. He had a great idea, which I'm doing with the first rates and these third rates is I keep the masts off and I just use one of my Gatorade caps. I drill a little hole in the Gatorade cap. I stick the mast in it. I have three Gatorade caps with three separate masts or two masts, whatever the ship is. <clears throat> and then um, that way I can do the deck details. I can do the, the, the painting of the cannons and you're not messing around and trying to get your brush around the thing. Now, the other thing I would suggest, the first two first rates that I've assembled yesterday, I screwed up and I put the anchors glued them on the sides of the ship like they're supposed to. And these first rates come with two huge anchors on each side of the ship. Um, it looks kind of ridiculous, but I then I realized, oh crap, I shouldn't have glued those on because now I got to paint all the, the banding of the sh colors on the ships around those anchors. I can get her done, that's for sure, but it'll make it easier if I, <clears throat> the second first rate that I built those anchors are cleaned up and they're just put off on my build table and I am not uh, putting those on until the ship hull is painted. I did go ahead and put the davits on and the, the little uh, skiffs on, those kinds of things that I can get all done. But the masts and the anchors, guys, I would just put those on towards the end when you get the hull completely painted and washed and you're really going into like a final assembly phase with some, you know, you're obviously going to have to paint the very bottoms of the masts, um, right? Um, so in my case, since I'm using the Gatorade caps, <clears throat> so I'll have to paint that part of the mast, but that's it. So it's just a little cleanup paint, and then they're ready. So thanks for coming in. I hope this helps you guys out. Those of you guys that are on the fence getting into Black Seas, I'm a big fan of the rules. I've been playing through the rules. Get over onto my Discord group and look at the bottom of this link. There'll be a link. Click on it. Click, click, click. It takes you straight to the Discord group and then you can be a member. And it's a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun over there. Thanks again. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.